Hi, hello everybody, I'm Gavin and I'm the British Bookworm. So today I'm going to review a book on bushcraft, which is by Raymond Mears, The Outdoor Survival Handbook. Originally I did buy this book after seeing it numerous times in water storms because it looked a bit too basic and I thought it looks a bit childlike with the way it is drawn out. You know, it looked a bit basic, some of the content. But uh, one day I bought it because I thought, you know, that well, might be a good book just to read it as I need an easy read when my brain's fried from reading more heavier books. So I bought it and it's been resting on my bookshelf and I ended up picking it up on the off chance of a long drive so I could read it as a passenger in the car. And I ended up reading the whole thing because the journey ended up being a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. And I've got to say that it is a excellent book on bushcraft it's the kind of book you can pick up one page scan and learn something that you possibly wouldn't have known otherwise unless you're uh, very experienced in the woods very basic in areas but what i liked about it was it's put in the four seasons he discusses uh, survival shelters how to make pottery how to make rope um, the very, very basics of navigation. It's a very, very nice book. So it would make a wonderful birthday present or Christmas present for someone who is a fan of Raymond Mears or is also into just bushcraft in general. If somebody you know doesn't uh, know Raymond Mears but they're very interested in bushcraft and survival and they've never, never heard of Raymond Mears, then they'd be very happy to be introduced to this guy. This guy is a world-class expert. A lot of people latch on to different experts that they find on television, but this guy's been doing it for a very long time. He started the passion of being in the woods and in nature from a very early age of something like nine or 10, and he was very much a geek when he did it. So he was, while the kids his same age might be out playing football, he would be out in the woods looking at rabbits and hunting and building shelters. His main kind of mindset is not actually about survival. It's about living in the land and being comfortable and living like the indigenous people would live. He's, he's traveled the world studying every different major continent, you know, major tribes, like from the jungles to the Antarctic, the Inuits, to the Indians in, in uh, Northern America. And he's basically researched and studied and spent time with different tribes and different people to learn how they live off the land and to honor their, to honor their skills and abilities and to honor their, their, their nature and how they, how they look at the world. So he much, he very much embraces the tribe, the culture around not just sort of the actual skill sets and so he, 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 he becomes part, part he, he embraces them so rather than just learning the skills like an army cadet would or someone on a crash survival course in a army special forces unit would learn certain basics of survival he really embraces the culture behind that, the mindset, the 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 beauty within each group of people that he learns from and it's very profound to watch him because you can really see his respect passion and love for the diversity that is in the world of and how different skills were born from different locations on the on on earth uh, this book is mainly this book is for temperate British, UK, Northern America type climates. The book I'm giving it a four out of five. It's an excellent book. I was really, really surprised at how good it was. It's not just a book you would read once. You can read it over and over again and take something out of it. It covers a very diverse material subject matters on how to live in the woods. I'm someone who's very passionate about living in the woods. Uh, or lo would love to have the skill sets to do it, should, I should say. And it's always been something that I'm 
very much passionate about myself and I've not done anywhere near what I want to do in, in that in that area but I highly recommend this book as a present as a way of getting people to know Raymond Mears for children or teenagers who you know who are really interested in camping and survival it's a superb book that doesn't take too much why I like it so much is you can just dip into it and find some things out that you would not have known and there's some basic skill sets in it that you don't get in the more comprehensive survival books so that was nice that you've got skill sets in it or things a little bits of information about things that you don't get in other um, more in-depth survival books so I really would rate it and recommend it to you as one of my go-to books on the bushcraft um, lessons, learning, journeys, experience, what have you. I highly recommend you look into Raymond Mears, obviously, um, and then one of the things that I would do and always recommend when you're learning something via a book is you can then go online and find the technique Add directly from the author, whether it's say rope making or navigation or finding water, that type of subject, and then you can literally go online and look into either that person's direct teachings that might not have been as clear in the book but are much more clear on a video. It's almost like you're there with that person teaching you. Raymond Mears does some crash courses, some like weekend courses, and don't, don't think he runs them anymore, but he. When, because he's you know he's obviously very famous and uh, very expensive and you know I'm guessing his company is bigger than that but he has he has his own company where he teaches survival and he's taught survival skills to the army so that's part of his background he is an excellent teacher and I highly rate this book I highly recommend it as a really really decent book to buy and to read one of the things that I like about it is it's got skills that you can go out into the wood one day, at, you know, one day at a time and just do just try it out. You know, you can make a little shelter, imitate his drawings, try to imitate some of the things he makes, and that's it. So that's my review for today. Ray Mears Outdoor Survival Handbook. Go out and get it if you're into your bushcraft. What books do you like to read? What books are you into? I've still not really got to grips with this whole uh, YouTube channel thing yet. So I'm still trying to like work on it. I've taken some book videos off and putting them back on. I don't really know whether it's even worth the time in all honesty doing this because books by their definition, I don't think people are that interested in their book review type thing. Although I'm not sure, maybe there's an audience for it, I don't know. What do you think? What's your favourite book? Give us a comment below. See you later, everybody.